on to Matthew chapter 10, the last chapter for today, Jesus sends out the 12. He called his 12 disciples to him and gave them authority to drive out evil spirits and to heal every disease and sickness. These are the names of the 12 apostles. First, Simon, who was called Peter, and his brother Andrew, James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John, Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew, the tax collector, James, son of Alphaeus and Thaddeus, Simon the Zealot, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed him. Um, there's a point here too, um, but let's continue. These 12, these 12 Jesus sent out with the following instructions. Do not go among the Gentiles or enter, enter any town of the Samaritans. Go rather to the lost sheep of Israel. As you go, preach this message. The kingdom of heaven is near. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse those who have leprosy, drive out demons. Freely you have received, freely give. Do not take along any gold or silver or copper in your belts. Take no bag for the journey or extra tunic or sandals or a staff for the worker is worth his keep. Whatever town or village you enter, search for some worthy person there and stay at his house until you leave. As you enter the home, give it your greeting. If the home is deserving, let your peace rest on it. It is not, it, if it is not, let your peace return to you. If anyone will not welcome you or listen to your words, shake the dust off your feet when you leave that home or town. I tell you the truth. It will be more bearable for Sodom and Gomorrah on the day of judgment than for that town. I'm sending you out like sheep among wolves. Therefore, be as shrewd as snakes and as innocent of do as doves. Be on your guard against men. They will hand you over to the local councils and flog you in their synagogues. On my account, you will be brought before governors and kings as witnesses to them and to the Gentiles. But when they arrest you do not worry about what to say or how to say it at that time you will be given what to say for it will not be you speaking but the spirit of your father speaking through you brother will betray brother to death and a father his child children will <clears throat> rebel against their parents and have them put to death all men will hate you because of me but he who stands firm to the end will be saved. When you are persecuted in one place, flee to another. I tell you the truth. You will not finish going through the cities of Israel before the Son of Man comes. A student is not above his teacher, nor a servant above his master. It is enough for the student to be like his teacher and the servant like his master. If the head of the house has been called Beelzebub, how much more the members of his household? So do not be afraid of them. There is nothing concealed that will not be disclosed or hidden that will not be made known. What I tell you in the dark, speak in the daylight. What is whispered in your ear, proclaim from the roofs. Do not be afraid of those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul. Rather be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body in hell. Are not two sparrows sold for a penny? <clears throat> Yet not one of them will fall to the ground yet not one of them will fall to the ground apart from the will of your father and even the very hairs of your head are all numbered so don't be afraid you are worth more than many sparrows whoever acknowledges me before men i will also acknowledge him before my father in heaven but whoever disowns me before men i will disown him before my father in heaven do not suppose that i have come to bring peace to the earth I did not come to bring peace, but a sword, for I have come to turn a man against his father, a daughter against his mother, against her mother, a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. A man's enemies will be the members of his own household. Anyone who loves his father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. Anyone who loves his son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And anyone who does not take his cross and follow me is not worthy of me. Whoever finds his life will lose it, and whoever loses his life for, the, for my sake will find it. He who receives, you receives me, and he who receives me receives the one who sent me. Anyone who receives a prophet because he is a prophet will receive a prophet's reward, and anyone who receives a righteous man because he is righteous, because he is a righteous man will receive a righteous man's reward. And if anyone gives even a cup of cold water 
to one of these little ones because he is my disciple, I tell you the truth, he will certainly not lose his reward. Okay, this is huge. There's a lot here in particular, this portion right here that I'm going to go back to. <clears throat> this is so important. Listen to this. As you enter the home, give it your greeting. If the home is deserving, let your peace rest on it. If it is not, let your peace return to you. So when you have a walk with the Lord, there's, remember I told, said, we've said in previous Bible studies, people can feel it, people can see it. They see it and they're like, you know something. You know the you you seem to know the answer. What is it? What is it about you? What is it about the way you go through life? Do you you must know you must you, you may know something about me. Allow for the Holy Spirit to work through you and provide that answer. Yes, absolutely. I am forgiven. And let me tell you that you are forgiven too by knowing who our Lord and Savior is, who your Lord and Savior, who my Lord and Savior is, who our Lord and Savior is, Jesus. And that is amazing. Before we go on though to do a quick review, what kind of thoughts or feelings come to your mind when we read over this? How does it make you feel and what does it make you think? 